Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Siberia. Siberia is a puzzle sort of platformer roguelike. It's interesting. It's organized kind of like Tower of Guns with uh, randomized room chunks. It does have a story. Uh, so you're playing as this character, Styx. Ah, I was just about to make it. Game over. Eden experience. Soma X pods. Credits zero. What the, what the shell is going on? Oh yeah, everybody talks in fish buns, because everything's underwater. What's up with your drone, Styx? Probably has a message for her, scallop head. Uh, Styx? Seems like you're in trouble. Solmomo's debt department. Styx, FB33, 30,000 credits, in debt. Cleaners will now attack you on sight. You have also lost access to your food, work, and uh, sleeping accounts. So, good luck on that one. Holy whale, holy shrimp, holy crab, holy squid! Credless, what have I done? And what will I do? Life lesson for everybody. Do not spend your entire lives in an arcade. You will uh, run wildly into debt, and then the uh, local society will try and kill you. Seems like a good plan. Okay, so, uh, hey, the loading's actually working. So a couple of things to note. A, I'm skipping the tutorial here. I'm gonna try and explain how the game works as I go along, but I'm probably gonna miss some things. But the tutorial is riddled with terrible performance issues. Uh, loading into new areas has performance issues too, so this will clear up in a couple of seconds, I hope. Please. You know what, let's just skip the, let's just skip this. If this persists, we're in trouble. Oh, good God. Huh. Hold on a second. Okay, performance issues have been sorted. So it looks like uh, if you are running into crippling... Wow, this is... That was some... What the deuce? <laughs> Crab squats! I don't think her like Her legs are, like, creepy long. I don't like that. Um... But yeah, if you're running into, like, crippling performance issues, quit the game, restart. Chances are you're just running around with, uh, junk... Uh, wasted memory. I don't even know. I don't know how to explain it, but effectively you've just got garbage data slowing things down, I think. That said, you're still gonna run into some amount of, uh, oh, crap. Some amount of delays. Okay, so I need to get that. Did I get him? Oh, I did get him. Damn it. Oh, these, these boxes just fell over. They didn't actually. Okay. Come on. Got it. Alright, keep going. Uh, yeah, if, you, if you're running into lag issues, solve it by just quitting out and starting over. Come on, I'm over here. Creep drone. He's on the yellow side of things, if I'm lucky. There we go, perfect. Okay, so, uh, seeing as we've gotten past this part, what is Suberia? It is, I mean, it is this. It's non-violent, sort of. You get everything to kill themselves instead of, you know, kill you. Uh, so it is a roguelike. Every level is randomly generated, or eh, it's not really randomly generated so much as every level is um, is picked from a pool. There's a pool of, you know, maybe 50 levels, 100 levels, 200 levels. I have no idea. I haven't seen them all. That said, that was a bit of a reboot. Uh, uh, that was a repeat level. Makes my life a little bit... Ow. Makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, this might be a bit of a pain in the butt. Alright, you need to come over here. Actually, no, no you don't. You need to come loose from the wall. Then I need to piss you off. Nope, no, 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 no. That's good, that's good. Perfect. Gotta stay away from them when they're shooting. Also, apparently kills the frame rate when it happens. Uh, but, so it's non-violent. I do have two special abilities that I can and probably should be using. Ah, nuts. Could have actually got... Oh, hey. <laughs> I don't even know what that does. I really don't. I don't know what app shot adds. Oh. What's this do? 25% more shots to all of your apps. Oh. I didn't know that's what that did. Okay, so there are actual upgrades that you can get along the way. This feels like something I need to collect. Might be too late. I bet if you had something run into this that you get something cool. Well, I will learn. Yeah, so you have a couple different types of enemies. They're all called cleaners, but for the most part, you've got shooter cleaners and you've got spinner cleaners. Uh, spinners will just do charge attack, shooters will shoot at you. Let's see. Oh. Yep. 
It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. Ah, crap. Room is cleared. Damn it. Uh, if you can... If you can get them to... Wait, did I just... Did I just do, a, like, a backflip? I did. Hey, it works. Alright, quick master add. Uh, if you can... Okay. So, the goal in each room is to get all of the bots destroyed or disabled. Not actually that hard. Uh, let's see if I can do anything here. I'd like to be able to get into this room if possible, but I'm not betting on it here. Uh, but, so your goal is to, you know, clear all the bots, kill them, and... Oh, hey, we got it. Unfortunately, there's just some money in here. Whatever. I'll take money. Uh, let's see. But kill all the bots, move on. It's set up like, um, it's set up like Tower of Guns. Each room kind of connects to the next. It's not linear, though. You can go back through rooms over and over and over again. Uh, you know, enemies do not regenerate, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's see. Grab that cash. Anything else? The answer is no. Uh, let's see. There is a there is a plot, obviously, by the first cutscene and kind of generally what we're trying to do here. So it is both inherently like a repetitive gameplay type deal and a... Let's see if I can piss this guy off. Have fun, chumps! Uh, it's both repetitive gameplay and linear experience. So if you can play through it once, you're probably going to be satisfied. But you know what? The gameplay is interesting enough that I would say it's not necessarily a bad thing to play multiple times. Uh, let's see. So I did kind of show off in the very beginning just due to my own misfortune, the poor performance issues that I was running into, this game does is not well optimized. This is a unfortunate reality as far as gameplay goes. And it probably won't get better uh, for at least a patch or two. Beautiful. Oh, he's still alive, isn't he? Nope, he's dead. Okay, good. Just get some more money. Uh, I was about to say I don't know what the money does, but I totally know what the money does. Did I just get another one of these? How many of those do I have? Or do they do they not stack? They might not. Cleaner master speed. Enhances master app. Alright, whatever. Oh, I see. That enhances a specific app. I haven't even used any of the apps yet, in retrospect. I'll use that in a second. I'm kind of enjoying playing this game largely appless. Which works in the beginning, might not work later. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to explain what's going on. But, so I've got, i got this little drone fly thing. Oh, yeah. We found Dad. There's Dad. Or, that's not Dad. Those are friends. Effectively, we have to go, uh, Dad ran off and he was, like, really angry. So we have to, like, oh, damn it, that was a health, health pickup. That would have actually been helpful. Oh, we have to go figure out where Dad went. Wait, no. What? I don't know what that means. Anyway, data point. Dad's message. Been scanned to your drone. Okay, so you can go to your drone. It's got a city map here, which is kind of interesting. But it's also got... Hurry to the Frolic Cube, because... We gotta go to Smart Camp, apparently. And go talk to Soma and Amos at the fun place? I don't know. Apparently our dad's also b bald. Good to know. I'm doing this story out of order, so I'm a little bit confused. Because I was gonna try and read it out loud, but... If it's out of order, it doesn't make any sense. We don't even get the story elements, it just progress the quest anyway. Oh, hey, we can go under here. I didn't even realize that. Oh, the performance is getting bad. But yeah, so it's going to have lag. It's going to have... Okay, we're going to have to be kind of careful about these things. Come on, come over here. <laughs> it is so satisfying to get them to kill themselves without me even uh, fighting. Read the thank you note. That's the message your dad got. Okay, good to know. Okay, we're not going to that. Logs. Thank you. Okay, so Dad got this one from Soma, uh, Somemos Debt Department. Dear Mr. FB33, thank you for taking care of Styx's debt. We're waiting for you at the Smart Camp counter in the Frolic Cube, where one of our agents will provide you with a reference number and guidance on how to reach the Smart Camp Welcome cent Center. Okay. And so now we have to go to the Frolic Cube to save Dad. Okay. That's what that means. Ooh, ooh, uh-oh. Okay, that, that performance got... Hella concerning for a second there. I really don't want this game to turn down into like 5 FPS. Ooh, discount edition. Nice. Is this... Where is this? Oh, this is the club. We should probably go up here anyway. We got plot important quest stuff. Which is... Let's see. Dad is expected smart can counter. Okay, so we were supposed to have found and talked to Eric first. Before we, ta uh, before we went off to go find Dad. Unfortunately, we did things in the reverse. Apparently, we're also, um... 
There's another quest guy that's supposed to be in here that didn't show up. Oh, hey, while we're here, I can show something off, even though it's completely useless, seeing as I haven't actually used them yet. We could buy an HP bar plus three, or a multiplicit app four for 200. Yeah, so these are shops. Uh, so I believe the yellowish ones are like health, and permanent pickups, and these are apps. We should probably actually go use an app. So why don't, we, why don't we go down, why don't we actually go use an app on something? Seeing as I've been kind of avoiding even talking about that one. I can't wait until like I'm not actually trying to describe what gameplay is like in this game. Because it requires just a little bit too much attention on me. Ooh, ooh. Shit. <laughs> I was gonna use I was gonna use it on something. But no, I was actually also gonna see if I could get them to destroy that canister thing. No dice. Okay, this this guy's perfect. So I'm invulnerable. So you can shoot at me. He missed. Okay, so as long as I've got this app running, I'm invulnerable. However, it only had one charge, so it's out now and I'm not going to be able to get it back. Now, a couple of things I can do. I can go back and buy another one, or I can just kind of rely on, uh, you know, not fighting. Oh, hey. Lifespan ad. Increases my life uh, my life expectancy. No, my uh, HP bar. Really cool, actually. Um, but so the apps are temporary use items that you use to fight. For the most part, I actually try and fight without using them at all. I'm kind of a lazy person. Look what the catfish dragged in. Done with the exopod for the day sticks. Oh, this is work. Oh, it's not that. I'm credless. Shoot. Now, every time you'll switch blocks, there will be a cube reshuffling. Thanks. Thank you very much, sticks. Is it new and more dangerous cubes will replace the ones you've passed. Security level will increase with each cube reshuffling, bringing more and more cleaners on your way. What? I'll grab that. Oh, they do stack. Okay. Well, let's transition to the next block. Processing block to building block. Well, I think this is the where I go. Where you go. So effectively, they just mean that every time you go from one area to another, it's going to get harder. All right, that makes sense. That's easy enough. Um, but yeah, so you use apps to fight. There's a bunch of diff different apps. Almost all of them aren't directly like destructive. Usually you have to use them to um, outwit your opponents. Or in the case of invincibility, just stand there until they kill themselves. Which is kind of hilarious. Okay, security level 2. And we've got some semi tipus looking gentlemen that we don't care about. Alright, let's see if we can continue to outwit bunches of things. Okay. I don't think the blue guys can actually kill the shooter dudes. Yep. Okay. So, blue enemies cannot kill blue enemies. So we need to, we need to lure the spin bot over here. Alright, there's one. Let's figure out how to take care of this guy. Actually, this is comically easy. Yo! What's up, Mr. Spin bot number two? Get over here. We got fun things to do. We got a party. You're invited. It's called death for this robot. Beautiful. I didn't even have to fire a shot. All I have to do is just run circles around enemies until they die. It's actually really satisfying playing a non-violent roguelike. Add some more HP. Beautiful. Oh, good night, Foxy. Have a good one. But, so... I... I don't know. I don't... I... I I'm, try, I'm trying to, like, sum, summarize this game, but I don't... I don't have, like, a good way of doing so. Come on. <laughs> oh, that was really satisfying. Is there another shooter bot? There is another shooter bot here. Gonna be a pain in the ass getting me into the right spot. Ow. There we go. There's one down. Well, there's another one down. And the last one's easy. Perfect. Yeah, so you kill enemies with opposite colored enemies. There are white enemies that, as far as I can tell, can kill everything. And yellow enemies can kill blue enemies. Blue enemies can kill yellow enemies. And they often will kill each other in kind of a mutually assured destructive destruction situation which is actually really funny to uh to enact let's see there's money everywhere well let's uh collect it so we're probably gonna want to buy some power-ups here and or a health bar i don't know we do get we do get hp ups along the way honestly there there isn't much to explain as far as this game goes okay so that's a white colored enemy which i think is just destroyed by Ooh, destroyed by everything okay so we need to go find this is a different mechanic i haven't shown off yet uh let's see mm, that hurt Okay, there's a one. What is this thing? 
Doesn't look like anything. Okay. Not simple enough. But, so you can, um... Oh, shoot. You only have to kill color cleaners. All the other ones just shut off auto automatically. I didn't know that. Well, that makes my life a lot easier. Let's turn that on. I don't actually know if that destroys anything. But it's worth checking. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. I haven't taken too much damage. I should be able to heal from this eventually. Oh boy. Ow. I'm gonna be over here. I think some something just killed itself. Uh, <laughs> I was destroying the thing I was standing on. Ah, let's see, so we gotta go find another color cleaner here. Ooh, hello. Kaboom! I think that's actually an offensive... Yo! Yo, Mr. Robot! Gotta get you to, uh... Kaboom yourself straight into that blue barrier. Beautiful! And that takes out the gray one. Yeah! Okay, so that's why the, the gray drones keep shutting down on me. Because they're not considered part of the main cleaner force. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, so th this is the problem when I don't try and play something blind. Because then I'm actually trying to explain it as I go along, and then I get too distracted by everything along the way. Let's see. Let's see. Did I get a key for the game from the developer? Yep, I did. They are... I mean, they're nice people, and they warned me that this game had performance issues. So, I, I will say, in re reference to the performance issues, it's probably going to still persist... Uh, in the release, which is like eight hours from now, but I think they'll, they have a patch ready and raring to go. Uh, let's see. So it's, it's not like it's something you need to be truly concerned with. Oh, do we have like a nice little battle bot arena here? We do. And these guys won't kill each other. But they will kill him. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. But, so, I'm hoping the performance issues get totally ironed out by the time, uh, this game releases. That said, I make no promises. It chances chances are Half Moon Squat. Let's talk to this guy. Can't let you in unless you have the password. And unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get the password here. I don't even know what the Half Moon is. Uh, maybe he'll be in the next Taki area. I don't know. Uh, but so, I think the performance issues are going to get fixed. If they don't, that's a serious problem. And I will, I will actually put up another video as soon as the launch version comes out. Um... Just because a I wanna I wanna have like pretty much a on the dot. Okay, I need I need one of these drones to destroy some of these these barrels. Ideally, all of them. Just a little bit more. Because if I can get if I can get those power ups, I'm gonna be real happy. Okay, do we have anything over here? Ow! Just a little bit further. Actually, you know what? That's probably good enough. Well, let's uh get around the crazy shooty drone of death and destruction. Come on, my jukes! My jukes are ineffective. I really wish I had like a sprint button. I wonder if I could jump directly over this thing. Oh, shit. It has a lot more health than I thought it did. Alright. Well, it worked. Hurt a bit, but it worked. I really should actually use some of these power-ups. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. I thought I destroyed... I thought I sufficiently destroyed these canisters. I guess I did. Just not as much as I thought I did. Oh, well, so we've got an area switch, but I don't think that's a good idea. I also don't know where the, uh, the fun thing is. Okay, you're the wrong kind of enemy. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, interesting, you can stand on top of these guys. Good to know. Let's grab that health up, which... More than makes up for the... Ow! Oh, that's dirty. Putting that in a safe spot. Good to know. Well, at least, at least getting more HP ups helps. Like, I'm not I'm not terribly worried here. I'm a little bit worried. I also like this person just kind of jamming out up here. Oh, they've got the VR headset on. Of course. Oh, yeah. So I was going to... Oh, damn it. It was another one of those containers that they could have blown up. I was actually going to mention this earlier. Uh, hello. How do I kill that thing? Oh. Yep. All right. There's one down. What? Burp. 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 This is surprisingly hard 
to do non-violently. I love it that I'm just not using apps here. This is like the laziest thing, but still. Let's see, no wonder the devs are nice. They're Canadian. Oh, I mean, Canadians are uh, nice folks. There's actually several Canadian developers that I'm waiting for games from. Because the games look awesome. Oh, well. Got one more thing to handle here. Okay. Oh, hey, we've got, we've got one of these canisters. I've been wanting to pop one open. I don't actually know if they break. I've been hoping they do. But I do not know. They could also just be deadly to enemies. But with luck... Ah! They're bombs. That makes sense. Well, it makes my life easier when they just kill themselves anyway. I am stuck. Okay, I'm not stuck. This is good. This is great, even. So, note to self, these are not canisters with power-ups in them. They're just, they're just insta-gib canisters. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know. I, I am, I am really, I'm actually really enjoying this experience. It is not what I expected going into it. It is very simple. In terms of, like, gameplay, you know, pretty much get the melee units to kill the shooter units. Buy a processor for 200. Buy a processor for 200. Sure. What the hell is a processor? Mean master. No, that's a that's an app. Okay, let's go to the other one. Let's see. Let's see if they've got a permanent upgrade that I can get. Honestly, if I could get something that uh, boosted my if I could get something that boosted my movement speed, that'd be great. Or give me a double jump. Damn, double jump would be handy. No dice though. Oh well, could be worse. Oh, we got this like weird party thing. What is this? Oh, it's cheese face. What's this? Nope, that's still Cheeseface. Cheeseface is the villain of the tutorial. For whatever reason. What the hell? I don't even understand what's going on in here. It's like a bunch of people clapping at a bunch of worker looking people with a truck in the back? Yeah, I'm just gonna come back to this place later because I don't I don't really understand what's going on. And I don't think I'm supposed to. Oh, maybe I was supposed to like join that one group. Probably. Let's check our map for a second. Uh, let's see. Don't we don't want log city map building? Oh, I was in the processing block building block. We're gonna go to the packing block and then we'll be going this direction. Okay, so the levels are actually very specific here. I like that. That's cool. That actually works out well. I wonder what's gonna happen when I go back through this area. I don't know. Uh, but consider I'm getting getting through this game amazingly well without firing a single shot, save for the one time I went invulnerable. I'm not terribly worried. Alright, we don't care about Wu. We really don't. Transitioning to the parking block. Block. Let's go figure out where Dad is. I like it or I just sit on a cube as we get from one area to the, another. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing it. But it's amusing. <sighs> but now this painting. Uh, it's, it's different. I'm not sure how, how good it's going to be, you know, three runs from now. But it's fun to play. Notice this. Okay, there's like a processor directly underneath that. Okay. Oh, it's stuck on the other side. Unfortunately, I can't tell what I'm supposed to be doing. What is this symbol? Oh, it's like an ice trap. Oh, it's an ice trap. Okay, I'm just gonna stay away from that for a second. Oh, well, that solves that problem. One of them's dead already. Now let's stay away from that and figure out what the deuce we're doing. I just jumped over him blind. Okay. Okay, so we've got this guy running around. We've got an ice trap rolling around at the speed of... Ow! <laughs> My bits. Problem solved. I didn't have to do anything, as usual. Uh, let's see what we got around the outsides. Probably should have actually used my used my abilities, but in the in the heat of danger, I don't think about these things. I'm just like run away, run away, uh, re resort to usual tactics and and stuffage. Okay, let's get the money. Let's figure out what's over here. Do worry about that. Oh crap! I just got a laser add something or other. Yep. Ow, that hurt. What does this do? Oh, that just changes the barrier color. 
think that summons an enemy. I need to buy a health pack. Or get one. Okay, so this could be a bit of a problem. Did that not kill me? How did that not kill me? A lot of explosions going on. Not wholly clear on why. But I ain't complaining. Think it was this one. Berserk. Ooh, that sounds fun. You know what? Let's actually start using our apps here. See, seeing as, like, okay, so the problem is, I got into this, like, well, that was easy, whatever the hell that was. Like, weird line going across. Oh, it shoots like a ping pong. Oh, I see. Where's my drone? Ow. Where'd my drone go? Why is my drone gone? Ow. Oh. Okay. That was confusing. Oh, that's cool. So my drone just makes him ping pong forever. Nope, not forever. For some unspecified amount of time, but that's that's a non-colored drone anyway, so we don't have to worry about him. Do we? Must be. Oh yeah. Next up with you. Gotta stay away from the weird lasery bits. It works! Okay, so yeah, that's like a weird flying saw blade trap. More for the enemies than for me. So that's a master drone controller. That's actually really good. I'm gonna grab that instead of the topsy turvy. So the boom thing just knocks enemy around enemies around. It doesn't actually kill them. And the master one, well, let's walk straight through the lasers like a dumbass. Is there anything even in here? Sort of is. It's just a matter of do I actually get access to any of them. Can I use it for anything? Sort of. I really wish I could actually get some HP here. The problem is I need to get to these sides, and I don't think I can. Well, there's a bridge across. No, there's no way of there's no way of getting over there. That's a shame. Oh well. I mean, maybe there is, and I don't, I don't actually know. That's fine. Now, how long How long has this episode been going on for? Really, only 25 minutes. Wow. I thought this was a hell of a longer. longer. I also do not know what that sound is. Ah, crap. Oh, he's dead. Kind of hoping he'd take the yellow dude with him. Unfortunately, getting yellow dude to kill himself a little bit harder. Only a little bit, though. Really, generally, not much of a problem. It's just a matter of... Where's some health? That's my main issue here. I wish the, the thing wasn't so freaking blinky. Actually, you know what? Let's kill ourselves slowly. I don't like the laser barricades. The, de the delay is starting to rag on me pretty hard. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, you know what? They control this bastard. Oh, God. Well, this is... So I've got a bunch of upgrades that make this guy really fast. Oh, that didn't work. Or does it? All right, just sit there and wait for, wait for the uh, the level to clear itself. Okay, so what Master does is it just lets me take very direct control of my enemies. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually let me attack with them. Which I feel like is kind of a... a waste. I understand why, because it would be really ridiculous if you could j just take your control of an enemy and just have a battle bot straight into people. At the same time? Make my life easier. Okay, so we've got... an HP! Come on, blow yourself up, man. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna have to get this guy to knock himself into the barricade. Okay, there's one down. Now it's just a matter of getting this dude. I don't know if I'm immune to explosions. I think I am. Okay, and our HP is back up. Beautiful. Oh, that performance, though. Hopefully they fix it. But yeah, like, like I was saying, I, I will do a video to be like, yo, they fixed the performance issues, or no, they did not. Please, please just wait on this game. 
And I really hope they actually did fix it. Okay, we've let loose the dogs of war. Oh, God. The dogs of war are angry. And the wrong color for what I'm doing here. So we could get a topsy-turvy, but that doesn't really help. Okay. Oh, wait. Duh. Look at these white guys. That is so satisfying. I don't have to do a thing, and they just kill themselves. I, I do think I'm going to switch Boom out for topsy-turvy. Where's my drone? Oh, my drone is stuck down below. Damn it, drone. Yeah, dr the drone can, like, physically get stuck on other objects, which is kind of a bit of a mess. So, yeah, let's get to topsy-turvy instead of Boom, because as far as I can tell, Boom just knocks enemies away instead of actually doing anything effective here. I don't know what this, this pad does. Oh. Oh god! They're like homing mines. Come on, Mr. Drone. Thank you. You did credit to service, team. Okay. Oh, wait, that's my drone. Okay. Oh, there's a boot. There's a boom thing there. Didn't even realize. Well, sometimes you just gotta- you just gotta kill it with Moxie instead. Seriously. Oh, hey. We've got a- we've got a puzzle to get up there. Can I? Not via that direction. Oh, I got it. The blizzard trap's a bit of a problem. Uh oh, maybe if I just blitz it. Yep, blitzing it works. But yeah, we've got a little puzzle to a power up. Which would have actually killed that guy instantaneously, but I liked my method better. Learning how to just cheese your way past enemies in this game is really satisfying. It's really fun, actually. Uh, but yeah, no, I actually really enjoy this game. It's, it's not a, it's not a standard roguelike. Not, not by a mile. Not by a long mile. But I think that's kind of what's so eng ow, so engaging. Son of a bitch. This hurts real bad. <laughs> Putting the gunner drones directly inside of the uh, the barricades is brutal. Also, using master controls is probably insane right now. Hey, at least I go almost up to full health on this, which is kind of handy. I think we just found dad. Found dad. Could be wrong. Discount ad. Excuse me, madame. This is an old man in an air chair. Passed by your counter. Matter of fact, yes, he left a couple of minutes ago. He told me that he wanted to serve a smart camp sentence to help his credless daughter. Well, my dad took my place at the smart camp. Duh. Yep, he should already be in line at the smart camp welcome center. If you want to go there, you can buy a ticket on the data point. Or you can face Kraken 4000, your choice. Go to the smart camp welcome center. Call a cube data point. They're not available in the Early Access Edition of Siberia. Okay. So where do we go fight the Kraken? I feel like I should go buy... Maybe not Master. On Guard? Nah. Let's not buy either of those. Can I buy any, like, permanent upgrades here? I feel like I've got enough discount... Discount modules that these are going to be cheap. Master Mastery for 20. Sure. I got so much cash, that's cheap. Oh, that's just Quick, quick Master. Alright, that seems like a risky decision. Okay, with that. Whoa! Note to self, buy those health kits. They're amazing. That is really cool. Alright, let's go face the boss, which I assume is... I'm only going to assume is this direction. Yep, found the boss. Can I do anything to the... Oh, God. Ow. Ah. How are you supposed to fight this guy? Yep. I'm not actually sure on this one. That one. This is kind of a thing. Oh, I see. It's just kind of a weird glowy thing, honestly. I truly do not understand how to fight this guy. We're here, there are boxes. I don't understand the boxes. Ow. There's just kind of a drone. Obviously, sending the drone into it doesn't seem to do anything. 
Maybe the boss is only harmed during certain certain sections? Not really clear on that one. Honestly, not really clear on any of this. Alright. We just topsy-turvied him into Justice Land. Okay, that doesn't do any good. Yeah, I don't... I mean, we've got boxes. Try to get, getting on top of it. That would help if there's an easy way of doing so. But it's so massive, getting on top of it seems like... It's not going to work. Oh, maybe when it's paused? You know what? That actually makes sense. I think my drone got stuck in it for a second there. Okay, oh! What the... Oh wait, it, it shot it. Come on. Come on, you stupid robots. Yeah, they're hitting it. Okay. So I, I, I just need to get them to, um... I just need to get... Oh, I'm just running straight into their shots. I do wish their shots were a little bit more obvious. But all I need to do is get them to shoot... Shoot the Hydra, or whatever its name is. I'm not exactly paying attention to the nomenclature here. Are you kidding me? There's just a bunch of health in the corners? Wow! Alright, that makes this kind of really easy. Maybe? Did it win? Nope. It just can only summon so many so many enemies, apparently. Not really clear on that one. Ow. Straight into the laser I go. Apparently. I do wish these enemies weren't colored so I can hit the boss all the time. But, I mean, ultimately, not a big deal. We just need to get the boss to slow down and... You know, opens it, open its bits up so I can. Here we go. There's a hit. There's another hit. Okay, it's missing armor now. We're getting down. Unfortunately, it's also berserk. Ow, ow, ow. Luckily, we got lots of HP. Why is my why is my screen get like weird cracks and stuff every single time? I don't know. Either way, I'm just gonna run around, run around the corners jumping a bunch. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna send him on a wild goose chase. Because obviously there's not much I can do in this situation apart from just like run and hope for the best. And collect lots and lots of money. The boss, nope, the boss is not. Ow. Shit, these guys are firing bombs at me. Ah! I don't know if I'm like overpowered or what. Oh shit, those things... Those, those are homing bombs. Oh god, why are there homing bombs? Why can't I move? Ow. Okay. Kind of dying here. Um. Um. This just got substantially more dangerous. Are you kidding me? My, 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 my helter skelter move only... Wow. Well, that's some kind of shit. Is it just... It is just dumping... Just junk at me. Oh, wait, no, he is. Okay, I'm hoping Captain Bomberman just killed himself. I'm not making a whole lot of bets here. Those bombs are crippling and the... Oh, I'm dead. I mean, gonna be honest here, combination of performance issues, uh, unclear boss design for a second, and then just freaking homing bombs that you can't do anything about, like... This, I really wish it was more of a puzzle for a boss battle. You know, you have to run around hitting switches to harm it. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so if I had one complaint, apart from the performance issues, is that, that boss fight doesn't really fit the rest of the theme of the game. It's suddenly like, here's an invincible enemy that none of your moves hit. Oh, well, there goes my controller. Uh, good luck. And I don't mind it too much. I'm sure after a couple of tries, I'll totally know how to fight it. But for now, it just feels kind of weird and cheap. Like, if there was, um... If there was... I don't know if there were buttons that I could hit. You know, levers I could flip to get it to harm itself. That would be really cool. I would like that a lot more. Unfortunately, no dice. You have to get its its summons to hit it instead, which 
I don't know, it just feels lame. Oh, well, the rest of it was kind of fun, and I'm really hoping that they managed to have patched the uh, performance issues out. Because this is actually a fun game. It's It looks nice, the music is good, I don't know. Actually, the music is completely unmemorable. Which isn't a bad thing either, but, uh, I mean, gameplay is fairly smooth. I was worried about it being an isometric platformer, but it does the job. And I'd, like, I'd love to see where they go with it. So it's going to be launching on Early Access for how much money? I don't know. Can I alt-tab without ruining the recording? I think I, like, pause the music. Yeah, the music is uh, totally paused while I'm doing this. Oh, well, not the end of the world. Come on. What does it say? It does not actually say how much they're going to be selling the game for in the email. I really wish they would tell me that sort of thing. Does that make my life easier? Okay, Steam page. Probably going to be completely useless, too. The answer is yes, completely useless. Okay, so I have no idea how much money this game is going to cost, which feels bad. Feels real bad. Alright, I don't care about the Steam open URL. Siberia.com. How much is this game going to cost? Please tell me. A roguelike. Even their website takes a while to load. Okay, it is going to cost... It doesn't, it doesn't say. I have no idea how much this game is going to cost. The, you know, if you're going to have anything, that would be, that'd be a great thing to put up somewhere. What about on the press kit? I'm running out of places to check for a price tag on this game. I have no idea. Okay, so going with I have no idea. How much do I think this game is worth? Uh, if it was 10 bucks, oh yeah, hell yeah. Definitely go for it, especially if you like Tower of Guns, Binding of Isaac, any, really kind of any procedurally generated roguelike -y type thing. Because... Uh, you know what? It is a good product, uh, performance issues aside. 15 bucks would be pushing it a little bit, but I'm enjoying the experience. I'm probably going to get a fair amount of episodes out of this thing, uh, which is usually pretty encouraging. 20 bucks would be a little bit high on the price point. I would say wait at that point, get it on sale, something like that. And if it's if it's like 30 bucks, no. Wait for that for a long time. I don't know why that like above 20 bucks is reserved for like high quality indie games or AAA stuff, but it really is, and that's kind of the unfortunate part of it. But at the same time, I, I think this is definitely in the 10 to $15 range. And, it, like, if it's $5, like, wow, that that's a steal. That's a ridiculous deal, but I don't think they're doing that. Let's see. So there's a lot of stuff that I haven't unlocked yet. You know, endings, characters. Admittedly, a lot of these characters are for later patches in the game. But, you know, that's, that's pretty encouraging. That's pretty cool. So, I really enjoyed this game. I'm definitely going to be playing it again multiple times. So, I guess if you guys enjoyed this sort of rambly, sort of distracted, sort of, you know, not quite impressions video, leave a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, uh, Siberia specifically, but, you know, if not any impressions videos, uh, hit subscribe because I do a lot of these and they're fun. And before I say goodbye, just as a reminder, check my channel. I will be putting up a video saying whether or not they fixed the performance issues or not. Because if they've picked, picked the performance issues, um, if they've fixed it by the time the game launches, then we're good. And if they haven't fixed it, well, uh, I guess I will let you guys know when they do. Probably as part of a Let's Play video being like, yo, it works now, yay. Because uh, I got this game on low and it still lags, which is not great. So, <sighs> with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of Siberia. And as always... Thanks for watching.